it may only be for one season, and that season might be shorter than most, but could Major League Baseball be coming to Buffalo? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this baseball edition of Believer's Talk. That's right, you heard me. We're going to talk a little baseball. We're going to talk a little bit about Buffalo Bisons in, in, in one shape or form or another. Before we do that, guys, I want to remind everyone, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button as we are going to keep you covered on all things Buffalo sports related. So hit that subscribe button. After you hit that subscribe button, you want to hit that notification bell as we get new news. Listen, guys, football season's coming up. Training camp's getting ready to start. So you you know we're going to be covering on the Buffalo Bills, the Buffalo Sabres looking to start their offseason a little bit earlier than other hockey teams, not because we want to, but because that's the position we put ourselves in, so we'll keep you covered right here, and hey, maybe Buffalo will have a Major League Baseball team again, I know it would only be for one season, I know that would only be for, for 30 games, but imagine if the Toronto slash Buffalo Blue Jays made it to the playoffs, you talk about playoff baseball, playoffs? in the city of Buffalo. I think that would be exciting. I think that would be a fun thing to do. Now, if you've been paying attention to the news, the Toronto Blue Jays tried to put in an application to the Canadian federal government to see if they would allow for the Toronto Blue Jays to come go back to Toronto to play their home Major League Baseball games. Again, Major League Baseball getting ready to kick off here in less than a week. And as I've said on this program before, if you're not a fan of baseball, that really doesn't matter right now. You want to be a fan of baseball. You want to watch baseball to see how they cope, to see how they react, to see how they handle everything going on with this pandemic and sports in this pandemic because baseball is the closest mile that we have up until the football season. So because in football, they're going to be traveling as well. You know, in basketball and hockey, you've got your little bubble. Soccer, you've got your bubble that teams are staying in. And it seems to be working out great. And that has us all very excited. I'm very excited that it seems to be working out well. However, with baseball and with football, they plan on traveling to these home cities. There won't be a bubble that they're staying in. If you're at home, you're able to go home to your families. If you're on the road, you're going to be staying at a hotel and then going to the away te or the, the team's facility of the team that you're playing. So there's going to be more travel. There's going to be more uh, chances for people to go out maybe and do things that you probably wouldn't do if you were in one of these bubbles. So baseball is going to be closest outlier to what we might have to see in the NFL. Some problems that may arise, the NFL could get a jump on those if they see what happens in baseball. So even if you're not a baseball fan, you should be paying a little bit of attention just to see how it works and if it is successful. I hope it's successful, not just because that uh, we the NFL will emulate it if it is uh, successful, but now because Buffalo might get a major league baseball team. Since the Canadian federal government refused the Blue Jays' application to come back to Toronto for their home games, the Toronto Blue Jays are stuck in an awkward position. Again, the major league baseball season less than a week away, and they're still without a home. Now, the last time that uh, they had a meeting with the Toronto Blue Jays' general manager, they did say that there are five potential options for the Toronto Blue Jays, but one of which is playing where their AAA affiliate, the Buffalo Bisons, play baseball, and that's at Salem Field in Buffalo, New York. Now, that's just one of the five options. Their favorite option right now, the one that they hope can come true, is, is sharing a ballpark with another major league team. Uh, preferably, it looks like the Pittsburgh Pirates. But if that falls through, and for some reason, Pittsburgh can't host two teams when they really got to look at the Buffalo Bisons home field of Salem Field as an actual option, as a potential fit for the Toronto Blue Jays. Now we've heard that they want to stay in the Major League Baseball stadium and we can understand that. However, if you don't have a home and someone's willing to bring you in, you can't really decline, right? At some point you have to accept. Uh, and so I really would love to see this. I think this would be great for the city of Buffalo. I recently tweeted that, you know, if they don't want to come to Buffalo, if they don't want to play for, uh, where the Buffalo Bisons would play, what would be really cool, go down to Rochester, pl play at St. John Fisher uh, Stadium's ballpark. 
ballpark. You know, they have a nice baseball facility down there. Now it's a college facility, so it might not hold as many people. But guess what? There are no fans in the stands right now anyhow. So does that really matter? What does that affect? If the team facility is nicer than what the Bisons have at Salem Field, then maybe that would be an option. You talk about St. John Fisher being able to recoup some of the money that they lost from losing the Buffalo Bills as at coming to uh, their train camp facility there in St. John Fisher. So you're able to, to maybe add some revenue in a, in a spot where you didn't think of before. Now, maybe that's impossible. Maybe that's just me speaking crazy talk, and that happens a lot here on this show. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that St. John Fisher is a reasonable spot, a, a choice for the Toronto Blue Jays? I would still call them the Buffalo Blue Jays, and like I said, it will finally give me a team to root for when it comes to Major League Baseball. And again, could you imagine a playoff game in Buffalo, a playoff baseball game in Buffalo? I would be excited for it. But just so you all know, even if the Toronto Blue Jays choose not to host uh, any other games in Buffalo, and there are some options out there where they spend maybe a few games in Buffalo at Salem Field as well. So even if they don't spend all 30 home games at Salem Field, there is still potential for them to have some games at the home of the Buffalo Bisons there in Salem Field. But even if they don't, even if they have no uh, Major League Baseball games at Salem Field, they will still be using the facility. They will still have the Toronto Blue Jays practice squad basically playing their uh, their non-roster squad that they would have to practice. So that way, if someone does come down with, the, with COVID, if they have to replace somebody due to an injury, that these guys are ready to go. So either way, Salem Field is going to be used, whether it be for the Toronto Blue Jays home games or if it be for basically the Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays practice squad. But let me know what you think. Some of you might be like, hey, baseball, who cares? Some of you might be like, yes, I would love to see a major league baseball game played in Buffalo. Again, playoff baseball in Buffalo, it might lead to something. If, if nothing else, it may help some revenue streams, right? It might help some local markets when it comes to uh, so it comes to some revenue. So we can look at that from a financial standpoint for the city of Buffalo and say, hey, it would help them out uh, that way. I know you can't have fans in the stands, but some of your bars are open now, right? You talk about some of the TV contracts, they would help out as well, right? So you're talking about some of the money coming in through that way. Even if you just look at it from that standpoint, it's a good move for the city of Buffalo. Uh, you know, it's a shame that Toronto can't play their home games up in Canada, but you have to understand there's a little bit different when it comes to international travel. It seems every week. Uh, this might work out better if you're a Blue Jays fan. Less travel time uh, from stadium to stadium. You know, you don't have to travel over international waters, even though between here and Canada, there's not too many waters unless you were talking about Niagara Falls. So, uh, but yeah, that is the news coming out of uh, Toronto out of Major League Baseball. Again, didn't think I'd be on here talking about Major League Baseball all too much when I started this channel, but who knows? It might be a fun time, and if the Toronto Blue Jays do play in Buffalo, maybe we'll stream a game or two. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Again, thank you guys for joining me on Believers Talk. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, mostly we're going to cover football and hockey because those are the two major sports teams in Buffalo. But we're going to cover you on all Buffalo sports. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like this video, and leave a comment. What do you think about the Buffalo Blue Jays? I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.